بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my dear students and welcome to new lesson In today's lesson we will talk about writing So here in this lesson we have to present different points of view So the title of this lesson is writing and under this title we can talk about presenting different points of view pre preparation for writing before writing we have to prepare ourselves to write any topic so number a read the article and find four theories about the disappearance of the dinosaurs write brief notes about each one in your notebook so here while we are reading we have to find we have to discover four theories about the disappearance of the dinosaurs in the past and after that we want to write brief notes about each one in our notebook was t-rex killed by a tiny insect was t-rex killed by a tiny insect here tiny means very small let's read a new theory has re renewed a scientific debate about exactly why dinosaurs disappeared from the face of the earth 65 million years ago so here we have some theories explaining the disappearance of the dinosaurs from the face of our planet the earth according to George and Roberta Poiner from Oregon State University tiny insects tiny means here very very small tiny insects might have played an important role in wiping out the giant beasts wiping out means dying out the giant beasts the very big very large beasts or animals the husband and wife team have spent their lives they have spent their times studying the insect and plant life which is preserved in fossil on in sorry fossilized amber so they have spent all their lives spent all their lives studying the insect and plant life they believe they think that a variety of insects may have spread infectious diseases or caused stomach problems which gradually made the dinosaurs die out so in their opinion they believe they think that a variety of insects a different kind of insects may have spread infectious diseases or caused stomach problems so in their opinion they think that the insects caused a uh, caused stomach problems and that caused the die out of or the dying out of dinosaurs in the 1980s most people believed that the theory of professors Lewis and Walter Alvarez 
as the most likely reason for the dinosaur's extinction. What is the meaning of extinction here? Extinction means here wiping out, wiping out, disappearance, not existing. Yes. In their view, in their point of view, the dinosaurs must have been killed by a giant asteroid hitting the earth. So, in their opinion, they think that a giant, a large asteroid, a large asteroid hitting the earth. So, this is the why, the cause of this appearance of the dinosaurs, in their opinion. More recently and lately, a team of German scientists led by Peter Schulte claimed that a series of volcanic eruptions were the cause of the dinosaur's disappearance. Here we have another theory about the disappearance of dinosaurs and this team is led by Peter Schulte. They think that a series of volcanic eruptions were the cause, were the why of the dinosaur's disappearance. They believe that these eruptions released toxic elements like cadmium and nickel into the atmosphere. After the eruption of this volcano, some gases like uh, cadmium, nickel, and some elements like them also we can say released released into the atmosphere into the atmosphere. Others have said that the planet may have been hit by a massive storm which called off the dinosaurs. Other people assume that the planet, our planet Earth, the Earth, may have been hit by a massive storm which killed off, which killed off the dinosaurs, all the dinosaurs. So here we can see many theories explaining the disappearance, the dying out of the dinosaurs, but we don't know which one is true because all of them are assumptions, are just assumptions. I mean, all of them are points of view. In fact, none of these sudden death theories is convincing. So, none of the previous theories, none of them persuaded us. The dinosaurs can't have disappeared so suddenly. They can't disappear at once. <coughs> Apparently, we can say fossil evidence shows that extinction was a gradual process. So here we can say <coughs> their disappearance, I mean the dinosaur's disappearance was not was not suddenly, it was a gradual process which happened over millions of years. So it happened step by step. The Pointer's theory, here we are talking about the Pointer's theory, is much more likely, it's more likely to be true, we think so. Actually George and Roberta agree that insects so their theory says that insects were probably just one factor the main factor in the disappearance of the dinosaurs 
climate change could also have contributed to this gradual process. So here we have two factors. The first one is the insects and the second one is the climate change. I will repeat it again. So insects were probably, possibly, just one factor in the disappearance of the dinosaurs. Climate change. Climate here means the weather. Weather change, climate change could also have contributed, helped to this gradual process. Because dinosaurs were called blooded. So the nature of dinosaurs, they are or they were called blooded. They belong <coughs> to cold blooded groups. They might not have survived increasingly cold temperatures. They can't, couldn't live in hot temperatures. Perhaps it was more and more difficult for them to find food in the colder climate. Experts argue. Experts said. We may never know exactly who or, or what killed the dinosaurs, but it seems that new ideas about this mystery will can continue to fascinate future generations. After reading this text, we can find a lot of theories talking about the disappearance, the extinction of the dinosaurs. So, every theory of the previous theories expresses a point of view we can see we can notice different points of view now look at the ways of introducing points of view in the language books Find and underline examples in the text Introducing points of view I can say for example in fact Scientists claim that According to somebody for example In their view in somebody's view or point of view Experts have put forward the idea that What is the meaning here of put forward? Here the meaning is raise Raise so experts have raised the idea that And they believe that they think that with the help of these expressions, we can express our point of view. Writing. Now in our workbook, number A, use your notes from exercise number C. On course book page 12 to write an article about a mysterious place or event here we have some tips number one write in introduction giving information about the location of the mysterious place or the history of the unexplained event so at the beginning we need an introduction introduction yes to warm up for our topic at the beginning we have to write an introduction and in this introduction we can give some information about the location of the mistress place we will talk about then the body of the paragraph I mean here Number two, explain the different theories. 
here we can explain the theories we have found we can use the expressions in the exercise number B I mean we can use in fact claim that according to in somebody's point of view somebody has put forward the idea that they believe that they think that etc yeah sometimes sorry uh, we can use the expressions in exercise number b on course book page 12 to introduce them use language from this unit to show how probably you think each theory is and finally we have to conclude our topic we have to conclude our paragraph and in conclusion we can give our point of view about the origin of this mystery or about whether you think it will be solved in the future so every paragraph or every topic consists of three parts the first part is the introduction we can put some information about the location of the mysteries place like in this topic then we can put the theories and explain the different theories we have found after that we will conclude our topic giving our point of view about the origin of mystery or whether we think it will be solved in the future now we knew we knew how to divide our topics into three parts I mean introduction the body and conclusion now let's come back to the first questions when we are asked to write brief notes about each one each theory so here we will talk about the theories which are mentioned which were mentioned in the previous lesson the first theory I will remind you of the theories the first theory is insects may have spread diseases number two the second theory an asteroid might have hit the earth number three volcanoes might have poisoned the dinosaurs number four a storm may have killed them and finally climate change may have made it different or difficult to find food we can conclude all the previous theories in these three or five sorry sentences number one insects may have spread diseases an asteroid might have hit the earth Vulca volcanoes might have poisoned the air and then the dinosaurs a storm may have hit the earth and killed the dinosaurs climate change may have made it difficult to find food on the surface of the earth now we come to the end of our lesson i thank you so much for your patience for your listening to me thank you my dear students and see you in the following lesson goodbye